Hello there and welcome to episode 2 of Polyxo, the City of Gems. Last time we have set up the foundation for a fine fine city. We've got ourselves some nice pasture where we're getting ourselves some piggies going. We have lots of housing districts got a big big warehouse where we really have a lot of crates available for everything we might want to store in the early times we've got a hunter well more about that in a hot minute and a couple of extra houses and a big old fishery over here so all in all the polixinian people are now or is that, can i say it like that polixinian oh, that sounds right so the people of polixo have now a a pretty good start but we do have a problem and that problem is Sabretooth Tiger formed and it's living down here in the caves and it's killing people we keep having people mauled because of uh, wild animals as it seems I don't know probably this one didn't die to the uh, Sabretooth I don't know we'll have to take these things we'll have to keep these things um, in check but for today the big things that I want to go into are trade and refining because we we really need some some new denarii we are poor and it's about time to find out what we are actually producing in, in larger amounts so let's get started with a where is it uh, infrastructure logistics an export depot. We're going to set that one up right next to the warehouse. Let's put that down here. Maybe we make kind of a trader's district here at this flank there. Like the idea of that. There we go. Good old. So that'll take a moment. We still have some cases of homelessness, but I bet that's uh, going to rele relieve itself once the housing here is done. And uh, we, we can set up a quarry here. So all in all, stone. Yeah, stone seems to be one stuff that we got a lot of going on here in Pollux. So, so let's see. We can we can bring up a quarry right from the get go. That's that's really really nice. The only thing we ain't got here are workers for that because you know. Just to put it into simple words, a stone quarry does make a ton of work. You know, you need so many workers, or at least you did in the previous versions. I don't know what has changed, if there has been, if there have been any changes. I still have to discover them. So, I noticed that we are slightly running out of rock, so let's see what we can gather here in the vicinity. For starters, we're going to be happy with the, with the stone we're, we're gathering here. And the food income is, is really, really good. That's uh, just what I had hoped for. So farming will be a thing, but not today. We need way too much uh, workforce for for farming. I mean, we got 15 people that want to migrate towards Polixo. That's a good thing. But before we accept new uh, migrants, I want to have all the old projects done and make sure that we're ready for more, you know. Ah, uh, look at the snow. That's neat. Okay, so looks like the dying part has stopped. There's, uh, it's been a while since somebody uh, died. They still haven't hauled the poor uh, sword over there into a grave. I don't know why. It's pretty far off from the city, and uh, maybe that's the issue. I mean, it's all the way up there, but whatever. Okay, so we got the basics down. Let's uh, check out what we can do. So we totally do require a janitor. That's uh, one part of the city's infrastructure that we cannot uh, skip out on. You know, the janitor is integral for the uh, repairs in the city. That's just too important. And uh, we are going to go, let's see, wood will be uh, gathered there. So I'd say the wood processing industry should be sitting in the vicinity of that. We got one forest there. So it would only make sense to put up a carpenter's workshop over there. Oh, that's not the one that I wanted. So let's get started with the carpenter because, you know, furniture is just, uh, is just a must have in the long run. Okay, so let's see. Carpentries are allowed. So we gotta be careful with the citizens, you know. 
So we're going to set up our first carpentry, like, uh, yeah, let's make it this, this large. This ain't really the size that I, uh, that I like my workshops in, uh, in the later stages of the game, but, you know, it's the first carpentry, and judging from what I usually have built in the past, carpentry-wise, workshop-wise, uh, well, wait a sec, um, this is freaking large, you know? Okay, let's see. Yeah, we got the stability down. The yellow dots, if they are around, they uh, make maintenance much more costly in this building and uh, also makes the building itself more costly. Constructed, I mean. So, in general, you, you really want to avoid that whenever you can. So, let's make a couple of narrow benches here for the walls. Look at that. I like the looks of that. Come on. Doesn't that look nice? And we put some auxiliaries in the uh, in the center of that. Here we go. It ain't overly optimized, but it ain't uh, unoptimized either. So uh, let's see. We're going to have forty-four people working in there, theoretically. Practically, it's not going to be that many. Oh, and a storage, of course. Um, but uh, I do like the fact that we got the. The, the infrastructure for for something big. In this game, I I have learned to to build buildings just as uh, as large as I can. Probably pay right now because it uh, it just pays off to play like that. So uh, we got one deranged person. Yeah, one one went insane already. Well, that's fast. <laughs> Things escalated quite quickly. Okay. So, judging from the looks of it, we don't have too many things we could export right now. The only thing that I see in the on the horizon, so to say, with, of things that we can safely export in the near future would be probably food stuff, because I foresee a overproduction there, and uh, stone, as a matter of fact, yeah. Stone seems to be the stuff that we, uh, that we can and will use as a trade material, because, you know, it's quite abundant. We got all those uh, those little deposits here above Earth, but uh, you know they, these are used up when they're used up. They don't refresh, unlike the trees, which will steadily regrow. Where there's a tree now, there will be always a tree regrowing, basically, unless you put a lid on it, form of a road or something like that. But the stones, when they're gone, they're gone. So it's a nice starting uh, starting money, so to say. That's why I like to use the stones like that, but uh, won't work forever like that. So, we got 20 immigrants that want to uh, join us, so we are going to authorize 50% uh, of these. Because we got the food, and we really need the, the art jobbers right now. City needs to grow. Quite badly. Right on, but uh, we are well on a good pace here, so let's see. Um, is there anything else? Uh, bakery... I find it pretty unlikely. We we can bring up a tailor right now, but um, nah, not right now. So we got the speaker. We could put up an eatery. That would make absolutely sense, I'd say. And uh, we got the lavatory. We got the well. Yeah, the rest home is uh, available very early now. Hmm, that's new. Okay, so we're going to put up a uh, eatery right next door to the poopery. Uh, I don't know. Maybe that's a little bit... Uh, too pragmatic, but I don't care. So we're going to put up a small scale eating place here. The eatery is, for me, always the least desirable thing, because it's basically just a uh, a grab your food and uh, and and go kind of uh, event. What I'm trying to say is it doesn't provide too much happiness in the city, but it still is better than having no place to eat at at all. So. We're going to do this like that here. It's going to provide happiness, and uh, at the very moment, everything that provides happiness is good for us. This requirement of clay on the eatery feels new. Hmm. Whatever. We're we're just going to allocate a couple of crates for that and uh, import some. No problem. It's just the thing that we need to import steadily later on because you know we need that for repairs. Speaking about repairs, the uh, janitor is on auto employ. Wonderful. So this way the guys here will run around and uh, keep the city in shape. Okay, 
Meanwhile, the carpenter is already almost done, so uh, check out the number of workforce. It's 14 now, and when they're done, I bet we're at minus 30 or something like that. So, here we go. All the workers at once. It's minus 43. That's absolute nonsense. So, we can employ much more people here than it officially says, but we're going to switch off auto employment for now. Because later I will do that when we have enough citizens. That's going to be really awesome to have that. But at the very moment, what's that workload? How busy employees are. So let's let's keep that at three workers for starters. We don't have too many workers at the very moment. I just want to get started with producing my own furniture at this point. Good. So we are still waiting for the eating place to get done. But at the same time, we're waiting for the import for that nothing will happen okay so let's chop some trees something here because we're running lower on wooden when on wooden stone and i'd say we're going to allocate some extra chests for stone and wood i mean we got 255 crates in here so let's put some, let's put that to some use okay so now it's going to be not much of an issue to collect like crazy and uh, considering everything, I'm going to authorize the uh, immigration of all the 20 people that want to enter Polixo right now. Because we have to think a little bit ahead. So let's zoom out and check out how the city is developing. We are going to have our agricultural district over here. In the long run, that's where we find everything we require. We will have a wood industry in this area, and that means the city's core, where the uh, people will live at and have fun and uh, research, that's where I'm getting towards to, that's going to happen mostly over here. Probably something over here. But uh, basically, Polixo will nestle itself or nest itself into the uh, mountainside here. And we're going to have some serious uh, mining business and the mountain flank is at some point, but more about that in the upcoming years. So long story short, the first laboratory where we can produce science at is going to be planned somewhere into that direction. I always love to start these things as soon as possible, so I have kind of an idea where the city will flow over the course of the time. Because, you know, it's it's really good if you have a, uh, a, a, a general idea of your, your city's uh, makeup, you know. That's why I'm drawing some, some random roads here and there to, um, to carve out a few, um, a few things that will make some distinct districts here, you know. We're, we're going to use that square here, for example, for the, for the lab. Okay, so let's see, where is it? Um, knowledge, I bet. So, infrastructure? I wouldn't, I wouldn't look for science in the infrastructure tab to start, but I'm not judging here. It has to be somewhere. For me, science somehow is production, you know. They're producing science, by all means. And they're going to produce science in a 20 on 20 building. That's what I also decided there. Okay, so let's put some stability into that. There it goes. And now as many, many, many workstations as possible. We got to fill that room. Okay, so it turns out the gap here in between is not wide enough. But that doesn't matter for me. We're just going to use the, the narrower tables. Oops. There we go. I've never been a big min-maxer here, because I honestly would go totally numb and nuts if I tried to get the most out of these buildings. Honestly, that's just too much for my for my tiny brain. So let's go. We got all that. This will fit 80 scientists. That's okay for me. And that's a bit of a longer term project. This will suck out the furniture out of our stockpiles. Well aware of that. But uh, it's a good moment to allocate more employees here. Since the carpentry and the warehouse are really close to each other, I don't think we're going to need any extra logistics. 
So let's check out the noise here. Boom, noisy. Looks like a laughing face. Damn, I need to turn this off. I cannot see it anymore. So that means we we do get our furniture income way too slow, sadly. But uh, yeah, let's move over through these. This is uh, fortification stuff. Let's see, we got the lab. I'm just checking out if there are any uh, things for the well-being of the city that we haven't uh, built up yet. But it seems as if we brought up everything except for the tailor and the bakery, so... We're good, we're good. Yeah, we're good. So, the next thing that I want to go up with, let's see... Let's bring up a, a quarry here, because I feel like this is a massive opportunity for Polixo to uh, to get us somewhere, you know? It is a huge project, as you see here. It's 90... It's 196 pieces of furniture, and it also will host 100 and work for 160 people. That's what I meant when I was saying, like, it does require a ton of, a ton of workers. I, I didn't over-exaggerate, didn't I? So let's go for the sufficient amount of auxiliaries, which uh, does increase the amount of necessary furniture even more. Uh, well, so yeah, we are at 322, whatever. It is totally worth the effort because this will be our, you know, our long-term income of stone, you know? This this is enough stone income so we can export it afterwards and earn money with it. And that's where the fun starts, you know? Earning money means that we can import whatever we want to. And that's, that's really, really good. Speaking about really good, how's the food, guys? So, with that service, people are happier than before. And we got three deranged by now. Something about Polixo is driving the people insane, if you ask me. Not a good start. Wait a sec, we can upgrade them? Cool, that's new. So we're gonna be employing more um, people here. Production of furniture is a painstaking process, which does eat up so much workforce in the early game. Let's let's pump that up. Let's, let's bring up 20 people. And uh, at the same point, let's uh, get the people into the city. So Polixo can grow now. I'm I'm quite confident that our uh, food production here and all should get us uh, somewhere. Pasture is full, and uh, well, let's see how the food situation develops. I mean, I'm pretty positive that we could bring up a uh, second fishery. I mean, the the banks here are rich, so we could totally bring up a new one. Although, well, eh, looking closer at it, we've already picked up the the sweetest spot there. When we look here, it's, uh, it's growing worse over there, so... I'm probably going to build a bridge over here, ironically enough. Do we finally have bridges, Sai? Is that a thing that has changed? Come on, give me bridges. No! Still no bridges, damn. So, I bet we still have to uh, do this the... Uh, the weird way we're just removing water you know it doesn't make any freaking sense to me we're just removing it that's that's the current way of building bridges in songs of six really hope that these things will change in the longer in the future so i'm doing this so we can bring up a fishery that will encompass this uh, this entire area here without any bugs and things i hope so it looks as if we are consuming more food and we are than we are gaining, doesn't it? I read that the uh, hunters have been strongly nerfed down in terms of uh, effectiveness. Like uh, in the past, one hunter was basically capable of feeding an entire city. That ain't th that ain't the case anymore. Okay, so we're gonna place down a second one because I feel like eh, there's enough game here. There should be enough game here at least. I'll try. If not, I'm going to raise it down. 
so let's see. It's a bit of a problem that we right now have two things, uh, two projects running at the same time, so I'm suspending this job. So it doesn't uh, hawk the uh, furniture away anymore from the from the lab project. We could have been done already with the lab, if I if I noticed that earlier. But whatever, it doesn't matter that much. Could have been worse. Okay, so well, this is all going quite fine, yo. I do like it. So we're going to export stone how much of it export everything even resources not in warehouse that's a new setting i like it but uh, we're going to sell 55 uh, 50 percent of the warehouse stock yeah let's do this so this won't yield us too much money in the first place but uh, it'll make sure that whatever stone we gather too much will be transformed into sweet, sweet denaries. Because we really need some starting money, you know. That's why I'm clearing out all the rock from the, from the mountainsides here. Mostly because I have this super early stone mine right next to me. Usually I wouldn't be I wouldn't be that generous, but uh, considering everything right now, I'm like, oh, okay, you you do you guys. Okay, so let's see how much workload uh, this one will bring up. One person workload is not enough, my friends. You got to work harder than that. It does seem as if we are losing food right now. If I if I if I inter interpret that yellow that orangish blip there correctly. But, well, we could upscale our food production quite easily by just bringing up a new pasture. Because this place is producing food and uh, livestock now. It's uh, full, and therefore we could just uh, amp up our food production while doing, by doing that. But, yeah, let's see how that'll go. Not too nervous at all. We got so much food available right now. And looks like the lab is uh, finally getting done, which means we can now get ourselves new technologies getting us ahead, you know. Right now, I wasn't spending any of my 1000 tech points because I don't like to spend tech points before I earn tech points. It's just a uh, personal stance of mine, which I never did regret. Okay, so let's start collecting something that I saw back there grain so let's get our uh, some crates going for that so i'm collecting that to set up a farm soonish so we can uh, start making bread soonish haha <laughs> minus 53 people hell no so we're going to put up 20 scientists here i think that's a fine start for the city and uh let's bring up all the immigrants that want to join and I bet that there will be a new wave of homelessness occurring here now because we have so many new workers in a new uh, area. Well, we have no housing yet. I'm pretty sure that might happen. Our fishermen are reporting bad catches today. Oh, it's new events. We haven't seen these before. So it seems like the fish production is worse than uh, usual. Okay, but let's have a look-see into the tech tree. This looks a little bit different than before. We haven't had the, uh, we, we've had a, a different arrangement before, but I'm pretty sure I will, I will find my way here again. So, paper maker, well, I don't need that right now. So, farming basics, not that necessary. Where's the, an ah, here, animal science. So we can increase or the output of our fisheries and our, and our pastures. That would be 500 tech points, but I'm not spending anything because I want to see what I can buy there first. So graveyard burial, that's a no brainer. Immediately bought because that increases the happiness of your city so much. It's, it's beyond words. Ah, here, tourism. Battle, artillery. Okay, that's new. 
so metal smelting crude. Hmm. So we have we have better technologies going on for that as well. So let's research the charcoaling as well, because that means we can set up the bakeries very soon. And humans love bread, you know. Give humans bread and they grow immediately happier. It's just that easy. Okay, masonry. Um, yeah, that gives me the ability to make cut stone. I'm not sure how realistic that is, in all honesty. And therefore, we are going to go for one point of animal science in husbandry and fishery. Because, you know, I'm personally a big fan of producing so much food that we can basically sell it. That's my, pers that's my favorite uh, point to be with food. Okay, so we can activate the job for the quarry because now this project can suck up all the furniture that we produce. That's fine for me. It's soon about time to bring up a woodworker or a forester or however they're called so we get a uh, steady income of wood as well. Until then, I'm going to pilfer all those little trees that are growing in the, in the vicinity here. It's not much, but it's just enough to uh, to get us uh, going. I'm not interested in the slavers' uh, offerings yet. I was wondering if Polyxo isn't uh, isn't a uh, city where we might uh, rock the boat with that as well. We're going to see that. So. The best part about it is we are now starting to produce more and more furniture. I like that part. So let's allocate some extra chests. And let's see, did we export some stone? So, produced. Construction. Construction. So, no. We're not exporting any stone as of yet, but that's okay. I bet if we are now uh, collecting more, that will be that will be going into the sales next. That's good. That's a good one. All right. Happy to see that. I mean, the moment we got this whole facility here going, we will have a completely uh, different thing. So doorbell rang. I have to go take this. Give me a second. And right back at it. So, these delivery services these days. Alright, so I see that the food stockpiles of Polyxo are growing again. I'm not too surprised about that. The introduction of new technology usually is a huge influx. And I'm... I was pretty much expecting that. So does the double click thing still work? Yes it does. Wonderful. So, now that we have access to burial techniques, we might as well set up a graveyard, but I'd say I'll save that for, well, for the next episode I just wanted to say. Actually, no, because uh, now that I think about it, we can do this real quick. So, where is it? Civics, I bet. Religion. Graveyard. So, let's set up a nice memorial site over here. Nice and big one. So, let's see. Until we have developed um, crypts, this will be our major place for burials and the like. And I'm not going to make it... I'm not going to fill it entirely as of yet, you know? We're just going to set up a few... A few trees. And try to get that respect to 100%. Might be a little bit hard while people are pooping behind the graveyard, but that is just flawed design. Whatever. So there we go. And then we might as well fit in some extra graves if ever the need will arise. There we go. That's a beautiful thing, and that will bring so freaking much happiness into Polyxo. Hard to put it into words. Okay, my friends, so when we zoom out, we have made a lot of progress. The quarry will be set up and running quite soonish, which will bring enormous amounts of work for the city. We should bring up a, a masonry as soon as possible so we can get ourselves cut stone. 
and start to make the city shine or export that stuff or both something like that but uh, we'll see about that in the next episode so thanks so so much for watching drop me your comments down below i am always happy to hear from you folks this game is on a beautiful way it's seriously the new version is uh rocking the boat for me quite hard can only recommend and uh yeah feel also free to leave a thumbs up especially helpful because you know the series is struggling a little bit in terms of audience so you can help a lot with doing that and besides that subscriptions help me a ton if you want to help out a content creator in need that does the trick so that being said thanks for bearing with me through the ad roll and I hope to see you guys on the next episode as well, again. Bye-bye.